There's a set standard for movies. This notion that creates this irrational expectation for movies. Personal preference is fine, but to claim that it's an inherent flaw in the movie is childish. It creates this small little box of expectations that the director must fit, and if they don't fit it, they're bad. If you watch movies, it's almost impossible that you haven't seen this around. An adaptation. They're all over the place. Sometimes classic movies have been adaptations of books, and sometimes movies which aren't necessarily classics, but are at least known in pop culture, have been inspired by books. The idea of remaking, adapting books into movies isn't something new. It's been around for ages. People recognise this. And given the culture of people that read books, it does lead people into being sceptical more than optimistic, and for good reason too. Sometimes great books have been adapted into horrible movies, and while there is people out there that do hate certain stuff for legitimate reasons, there is this one argument that goes along for book adaptations which I've never understood. Now unfair criticism is inevitable no matter where you go, and even intelligent people have made pretty bad reasons against hating a movie. However, the criticism that I'm about to be addressing has been made by many people, whether it be intelligent people or whether it be ill-informed people. So this video is mainly directed towards a huge variety of people who make this argument. The idea that a book adaptation is bad based on how faithful it was to the original work. Now, for the most part, I don't think this is a legitimate reason to hate a certain type of stuff. Their argument usually stems from the idea that this thing has added new stuff into their original work added bits and pieces there and removed certain stuff there, and it angers and upsets certain people. Some people who even like the movies have stated that it was a shame that it was at the cost of a good book. This is to say that even though they like the movie, they're disappointed that the directors had to do it, and had to change something from an original book. This is to say it's bad for directors to add new stuff into someone else's work and to add a new perspective. And this is what I don't get. If The Cost is a great movie, then how is it ruining it? How is it at the cost of a great book? If the literature which has been made is good, and it's been a pretty good new fresh perspective of it, then how is it at the cost of it? I don't like this whole idea that something's at the cost and that your original work has been violated and ruined. No. If it's good, it's fucking good. Simple as that. If anything, they're adding something new to it, making it better and adding a new perspective to it. And while you may not like the new perspective, that's fine. But to act as if book adaptations are bad by default if they aren't faithful, just because you didn't like a certain perspective, is fucking ignorant. In my opinion, I think it's a good idea. It's creating this healthy way of being able to look at art in a different perspective, and making it able to where you can look at something and say, wow, it was different. I can look at this in a different way. You know, kind of like how cartoons will have different authors at times, and they'll write in a different style, draw in a different way. Kind of like the Looney Tunes, for example, where they changed Bugs Bunny over the years and gradually changed him and gave him a new perspective. Changed his style to fit with the overall style. Sometimes change in a book adaptation is necessary. Bear in mind, an adaptation isn't supposed to be the original work verbatim. It's supposed to be a reimagining of the story. So I don't get this whole notion that adaptations are bad because they do that. If you don't like the point, then why? What's so wrong with adding a new perspective to something which you appreciate? Making other people being able to appreciate the work that you appreciate? For different reasons. Why is this a bad thing? Why do you hate that so much? It's not intended to be exactly the same for a purpose, because it'd be fucking boring. They're adding a new perspective to make it to where people can appreciate it differently, look at it differently. Even music fans use this argument, claiming that a cover is bad based not on the skill or if it genuinely sounded good, but based on how true it was to the original work, and if it wasn't true to the original work, then it's bad by proxy. One artist in the movie industry who's got a lot of unfair flack for this is Stanley Kubrick. 
Now, while he has a legacy of being a genius in film cinematography, he has gotten flack. Now, for those who don't know who Stanley Kubrick is, he's one of my favourite film directors. He created A Clockwork Orange and The Shining, and both of them just so happen to be book adaptations. And while movies like Let's Take A Clockwork Orange was critically acclaimed, it did have some notable critics. Now these reasons range from Roger Ebert claiming that it's an ideological mess, and Pauline Kael claiming this movie is a porno and Kubrick as a bad pornographer. Aside from these reasons as the movie being bad, you do have the outcries that this movie was not faithful to the book because Kubrick changed the ending. Though Kubrick was mostly faithful to the original novel, people were still fairly irritated as to how he was changing the ending. Now, what were the endings of A Clockwork Orange? I'll put a spoiler alert now, but the ending in the book is basically where he's redeemed. He's redeemed from his sociopathic ways and that he's a good person now. Whereas Stanley Kubrick did the polar opposite, making him still a sociopath at heart. Now, many people were annoyed and irritated by this, and honestly, I don't see why. When Kubrick alters stuff in an original work, he has a pretty good reason to. Stanley Kubrick is known for being a perfectionist and someone who aims for detail. So he wasn't just changing the ending for the fuck of it, he was changing it because in his opinion, he didn't feel as if it was realistic. In my opinion, I think the reason he changed it was just for realism purposes and to give a statement on the mental health system. Making him not redeemed is a pretty good statement, because in his opinion he didn't feel as if it was realistic. So he altered the story. Now there are more differences to be found. For example, in the book he was conditioned against all music, whereas in the movie he was only conditioned against Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Another example being that he drugged and raped women, whereas in the movie, he did the opposite. He had consensual sex with grown women. Now, to see more differences, I'd recommend looking at the Wikipedia article in the description if you're really that interested. However, moving on, were these changes necessary? In my opinion, I think so. Kubrick always wants to convey a certain message in his movie. So if something contradicts his message, he's going to remove it. He's someone known for excessive retakes, he's known for his details, and he's known as someone who tries his hardest to convey a certain message. He's a perfectionist, as I've said before. Another movie where she got flack for this was The Shining, another critically acclaimed movie. However, a lot of people were outraged over the fact that he had changed the original stuff. He got rid of the ghost idea of Jack being possessed by ghosts. He got rid of all of this stuff, and I strongly disagree with critics in this regard. Now, for this, you need to understand Stanley Kubrick's intentions. He is an interpretive director, just like Charlie Kaufman, David Lynch, Alejandro Jodorowsky, etc. Now, with The Shining, yes, it was different, but it was different with a purpose. Stanley Kubrick wasn't interested in telling a ghost story. He was more interested in telling a story about a mentally deranged man going insane due to cabin fever. He altered the story not only to make more sense, but to convey a much stronger message. This, to me, makes the movie far more important than the original work, thus making the adaptation a successful adaptation. This is why I don't see it as a bad thing. You can get something so great out of taking someone else's idea and adding so much more to it, expanding so much stuff to it. Making something which is the exact same as the original work would just be fucking boring. There's a reason people hated the remake of Psycho and Night of the Dead, because they were word for word the exact same fucking thing. There was nothing new to it whatsoever. You might as well have just watched the original movie because there was nothing to fucking add to it. Now, intentions are important in this. Was the director trying to make something faithful? If so, and he didn't do it correctly, I would see it as a legitimate reason to hate something for not being faithful. But if a director isn't trying to be faithful, what's the issue? What is the issue with creating something new and giving you a new perspective to appreciate art? Why is that such a bad thing to you?